Alright guys, what's going on? Uh, Balloon24 here, bringing you a deck profile for Decidueye Vileplume. Uh, I'm playing the Grass Energy version, not the Rainbow Energy version. I just like it better, and I think it's a little bit more consistent. So let's jump into the deck profile. We're playing two Lugia EX with Arrow Ball, 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to both active Pokemon, and then Deep Hurricane. Deep Hurricane does 80 damage plus 70 if there's a stadium card in play, then discard that stadium. It's a really good late game for if you need to clean up uh, when you have like two prizes left, or if you're just trying to knock something out. It's a really good attacker. Um, Shaman, we're playing three Shaman for the setup ability. If you don't set up early, then you're giving your, your opponent more chance to play items, and that lets them ultimately take the game faster. So you want to set up your board as fast as you can, get down as many Decidueyes and a Vileplume down, and be good to go. Uh, my list plays Beedrill for the Double Scrapper. Double Scrapper do discards two Pokemon tool cards in play. So it's really good against Garb, because Garb basically just ruins your day. If, if your opponent gets Garb and you can't deal with it, it's, uh, it's a very bad time, because then you're doing either 90 damage with Decidueye, or 20 times the amount of energy on your opponent's active, which isn't very good. And we're playing a 2-2-2 Vileplume. Pretty standard for Decidueye Vileplume. Also playing a 4-4-4 of Decidueye. Decidueye does Razor Leaf for 90 damage for a colorless, for two colorless and one grass. And then Hollow Hunt GX for one grass energy, put three cards in your discard pile. This is uh, really good for getting back DCEs or getting back Lysanders and um, even forests or other parts of your line. So uh, it's, it's just a very good card and we're going to be using Feather Arrow which put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon to set up more knockouts late game. Playing three level balls just to get out, let's see, you can get out four, eight, twelve of your Pokemon with level ball. Then you're playing two Revitalizer to get back lines that you had to drop off from either discarding Dartrix, Decidueyes, or Vileplumes and Glooms and stuff with your Ultra Balls. Playing three Trainers Mail instead of four because I wanted the extra Lysander and I wanted to play four Grass Energy because if you play three, you you have an even harder time against Quad Lapras, which is just going to discard everything, and you want to make sure that you can get the Grass Energy to Hollow Hunt GX. Four Ultra Ball is pretty standard. Um, we're playing four Forest of Giant Plants just to evolve up turn one. Three Lysander because I think it's just really good to have three under item lock because then you can Lysander stall something. If your opponent plays Garb, you Lysander with Beedrill. If you Lysander it, then double Scrapper with Beedrill and they have a three retreat cost. So they're either going to be up there for two or three turns depending on if they play double colorless. Uh, and N. I play... I think I play, I play 3N, yeah I play 3N just to shuffle draw and for Sycamore, uh, Sycamore is very basic, I'm not going to go over that. Two Floatstone, you want to get Floatstone on your Vileplumes, four DCE, you need to attack with something, and four Grass Energy because I want you want to get that Grass Energy on Decidueye just to be able to Hollow Hunt or Razor Leaf. Alright, so that's it for the deck profile. Let's get into some games. Played two or three. This is not the name of it, but I guess it's fine. Yep. I think today is the first day that Guardians Rising is legal on PTCGO, so we might be playing against some new concoction that someone decided to make. Uh, but this seems like just a basic Dark Eye list without Hoopa. Or maybe it's a Honchko list. But Honchko isn't that great without Tapu Poco yet, so. So we're not going first, which sucks. And we start Beedrill, which is also bad. But we're getting a Mulligan. And we have two Floatstones, so we can Floatstone this. Beedrill, and then Ultra Ball, Discard, Vileplume, hmm, this is a Zoroark list, Zoroark Hammers, maybe it's Umbreon Hammers with Zoroark, 
So we can Ultra Ball Vile Plume and whatever we top deck or mulligan off of. Us. Grab an Oddish. Then later we can Revitalize her for the Vile Plume back. But we need to find a Forest. So we might just end up Ultra Balling for a Shaman. Depending on what we get on these mulligans. Let's see. Ooh, alright. Oddish. Don't need to Ultra Ball for Oddish. Also, let me know in the comments if you think the music is a little bit too loud. I'm still trying to figure out um, the little works with OVS. So if the music's a little bit too loud, just let me know and I can lower it a little bit. Because last time I had the music on really low and you could barely hear it. So they got an Eveltal with an energy, a Zorork, and an Eveltal EX. Oh, not a Zorork, a Zorua. I don't like this song, let's change it. Ooh, Shaman for full six. Let's go back up here. <coughs> Sun Moon Battle Remix. Oh, this is good. Alright, so we top deck energy. Our opponent didn't do anything after that shaman, so that doesn't seem great. Uh, let's see. Floatstone. The Beedro. And Ultra Ball away, Biofoam and Energy. Grab Shaman, and we will set up for five or four. My bad. Set up for four cards. Trying to find Forest, maybe Gloom, another Rallet, or not another Rallet, just a Rallet. Uh, Trainer's Mail. It's not very helpful. I'm just gonna Ultra Ball away the Ultra Ball and the Sidui. And grab. Let's see. Ooh, okay, so we prized one Darstrix and a Decidueye. I'm gonna grab a Rallet, attach the energy to the Rallet, <clears throat> and then just Sycamore away the Revitalizer, which kind of sucks. But we have one more. Oh, I probably should have checked the Fields Press. Oh, there it is. And this is not looking that good right now. So I'll level ball for Rallet. Um level ball for Dartrix. Probably should have held on to it. Well level ball for Dartrix. <clears throat> Next turn we could evolve up. I'll just keep the B drill active for now. Let it soak up a hit. <coughs> If worst comes to worst and we don't draw anything, we can just Lysander Shaman and then Sky Return with our own Shaman. Get it off the field, get it to draw more cards in the next turn. But it is not looking good so far. And he already has another Yveltal. We know that he only plays Dark types. And he's playing Zoroark Break, so he can use our GX attack and get cards back. Lugia is going to be good here if he overloads his Eveltal. Because we can Arrow Ball, which is basically just a little bit weaker of a Evil Ball. Still good tech, but he's going to end, us, end our hand away. And we actually drew a little bit better, so we're going to thank him for that. Thank you, good sir. And, okay. Oh, I forgot he was playing Hammers. Alright, well, we got another Energy. <clears throat> Is that already two grass energies? Oh, damn. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna make sure that we actually can evolve into the situation because I would like to I would like to hollow hunt here. 
at least get an energy back and search cards. And I need to get Vioplume so he can't crushing hammer us anymore. <clears throat> we also have to make sure we don't fill up our bench entirely. <coughs> that way the Zoroark doesn't do too much damage. Okay, so Oblivion Wing for 30 attached to the Veltal, I would assume. Or the Zoroark. So that's good, but now we have to end, and hope we hit Decidueye and a Forest. Probably not the best idea to end him. Ugh. And... Mm. Don't want to do this. I don't really gain anything out of getting two cards. Mm. Mm. Alright. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. Plus a DCE would be 130, and that's a knockout. And this is doing 130, and that's a knockout. If we're going to retreat into Rallet and let Rallet. We're gonna sack our Rallet. And just pass. Because next turn I can drop the Lugia. And then Sycamore. And hopefully draw into our stadium then. <sighs> Every time I play on YouTube. <laughs> Dead Draw City. Let's see. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure if he foul plays and uses our GX attack. Then he can. Then that. Counts as his GX attack, so that's not good for him. Oh, yay, advertisements. Let's see, skip ad. He's gonna Ultra Ball, discarding Sycamore and Team Flare Grunt. Alright, good, we don't want him to have that Flare Grunt. And he's going, he's going to grab a Zorua. Sycamore for full seven. Alright, sorry I missed out on a second. I just need to grab water. I don't know why my throat's so dry right now. At this point, our Vioplume isn't going to be doing that much. He's already played so many items. <laughs> I'm just a mess today. Let's see. Yeah, he's played a bunch of his VS Seekers. And there goes the Rowlet. Promote the Beedrill. Play that down. Ah, so hard. I don't want to discard my last energy. Alright, we'll put it on the Lugia. Why not? Get a use out of it. Get the... Decidueye. We have this, but that doesn't really help that much right now. We'll get the Revitalizer for this, and I guess a Rallet for the future. Put two damage counters on this Eveltal. Forest, just so he does less damage. Retreat into the Decidueye. Play down Vileplume before I forget. And I will just Hollow Hunt GX for. A grass energy. What's in hand? An N. 
And a Dartrix. Because then we could go Rallet Dartrix and then try to find an, a Decidueye off the end. Alright, so down goes our Vile Plume. That was fast. But let's see, how much can we do with Arrow Ball? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 120, 41, 60. And we need to hit 190. Ugh. We just missed with that. Oh, you know what? We can, we can still find another Dartrix. That doesn't help that much. Play down Rallet, play down Dartrix. I'm going to. How many. Have we played. We played both of our Revitalizers already. And there's no more. So that means that we don't have any more Vile Plumes. I love a ball. And. Fail, I want to say. Yeah, I'll just fail it. Oh, you know what? No, we have one. We have a decidueye in the prizes, so. <clears throat> Play that down. N. And hope we draw either Ultra Ball or Decidueye. So there's the Decidueye. So we're going to be able to take the knockout this turn. And then he can start attacking with Mind Jack. Or use our own attacks against us. Which won't do that much. So that's the mind jack. It's either mind jack won't kill Lugia. Okay, I'm pretty confident that we can live. A turn with Lugia. One, two, three, five. Eight is 160. Okay, so we have to put both on the active. Trainer's mail. Grab Sycamore. And we will take our first two prizes with Arrow Ball. Alright, let's see. Can we get our Decidueye? Since 1931, oh. University has challenged our no! <laughs> oh no! Alright, it's okay. We still have two Decidueyes. Our opponent can play items, but we got another double color list. We can start attacking with Deep Hurricane or Arrow Ball now, <clears throat> depending which one does more damage. He's gonna go for the Lysander, so he's probably going for the Beedrill, knock out the Beedrill and take two more prizes. But then we could start doing a Lysander race with him. Yeah, we gotta make sure how many Lysanders has he used? Two and three VS Seekers. So that probably means he only has one left. We will go in with the... Uh, can I knock it out? No, I can't. Would this knock it out? 100. Mm, yes, that would. Okay, so I'm going to go in. If he puts double colorless, how many max looks does he use? Three. So he gets double colorless, and that's, that's three more energies. So that'd be five, eight... I think we just have to go in with the Lugia. Just risk it. So we are doing that. Let's put this here. Things I don't know if I want to lie sand or something and start taking that out. I probably should have lied to the Vel call. That doesn't pose as much of a threat to us. Okay, so we. Does this have 140? Yeah. I'll just take the knockout on the Zoroark. 
break just to secure at least one and then we can try to Lysander like Shaman or the Zorua next turn I'm gonna do this get our Dartrix and then if we if we get the Decidueye now okay um, maybe he thought I was slow playing alright wins a win I'll take it see the stats yeah <laughs> did a bunch more damage than we did uh... All right, okay we'll go into a second game Let's see if we can get a better start, because last time we didn't start out so hot. <clears throat> We're going to call heads. And we get to go first. Sweet. Alright, so we're starting the Sidewire. I mean, not the Sidewire, Rowlet. We have Sycamore. If we can get a Forest off of this Trainer's Mill, then we'll be in a somewhat good position. Alright, an even better position if we get Forest. Alright, uh, evolve up into. We can actually dunk him if we get a good enough start. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for that just because it seems like. More of a fun idea. Let's see. Level ball for another Rowlet. Do I have enough Decidueyes though? Yeah, I have my whole Decidueye line. That's one Violet Plume. And all of my Violet Plume pieces. So I can do this. And I'm actually going to sick more now. Because I want to grab more cards. I can possibly take the turn one dunk if I get a good enough draw. Uh, that's not a good enough draw. Okay. So, of course. Play down Oddish. Play down Dartrix. Floatstone Oddish. Attach DCE. And we'll pass. Okay, so he's going to replace our stadium with a Scorched Earth. Don't know why he's playing Fire Energies. Maybe he's playing it with Passimian? Okay, or Fire Energies. <laughs> Play Max Elixir on the Tauros. Hits the max elixir, so is this some weird Volcanion? <coughs> oh, maybe it's Incineroar and he's playing like Flareon to make all of his stage 1's fire. I don't know, this is a weird deck. He's gonna Floatstone, go into the Tauros, and he's gonna be able to do- He's not gonna be able to knock out our Dartrix, so that's a good sign at least. And then we can- uh, Now we have to end though. Mm. Excuse me. Okay, so we get a Dara Sijuai. We'll floatstone the active one. And we'll end. Okay. I want to get Ultra Ball now off of this trainer's mill. Okay. So I can Ultra Ball. Well, one and I'm gonna play down this so I can attack. Ultra Ball, the Lysander and the DCE for Shaman. That was a really good end. Play down Forest. Play down Decidueye. And now we're gonna start looking for a Vileplume. 
because <clears throat> we're in we're not in a great spot we're not in a bad spot because if we attack the Tauros then we get blown up but now we have Decidueye I mean not Decidueye sorry we have Gloom and Vileplume Feather Arrow to the Pikachu Feather Arrow to the Pikachu Cause now he has to rage, he has to Mad Bull GX for the knockout. So this isn't an awful spot. Unless we just Hollow Hunt. But Hollow Hunt doesn't really help. Like in any way. Yeah, Hollow Hunt doesn't help. So I will raise a leaf because now he has to Mad Bull if he wants to take the knockout, which he should. And then we can hollow hunt next turn for the stuff back. And we'll not lie center, but we can feather arrow regardless, take a knockout on Pikachu unless he evolves. So that's good. He replaces the stadium. <clears throat> so we might just have to hollow hunt the stadium back. He uses the Scorched Earth again. Draw two more cards. I think. Right? Let's see. Yeah. Use Scorched Earth. Draw two cards. And he's slower on it. So he could do 270 damage with Mad Bull. Or do 110 and not take a knockout and then just lose. Good Pikachu. Yeah, I think so. Alright. So he's taking the Mad Bull. We'll promote Vileplume just because it has free retreat. And he actually can't knock out the Vileplume. So we can just keep the Vileplume. We'll, we'll take our knockout on the Pikachu. We get Revitalizer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna attach the energy here and just sick more because if we get DC, we just win next turn. Unless he finds a Pokemon. Alright, so we have that. Play, play this down so that he can't. Actually, 80? No, 80 doesn't take a knockout. Um, and we'll just pass. Because now we win next turn if he doesn't end or get a Pokemon. Big Wave Dave, 17. Sorry, Big Wave Dave. Oh, this probably means we can put in our Guardians Rising codes. So we can start building Guardians Rising decks. Oh, uh, and he gets the Sycamore. It's going to do Sycamore a huge hand away. Let's see, what kind of deck is he playing? I think this looks a lot like it's just Volcanion, but a weird Volcanion. He replaces the Stadium again. Yeah, there's Volcanion. It doesn't look like he's going to be able to power up enough stuff to even knock us out. He can't even retreat this Tauros. So if he comes up with the Volcanion, it won't even really be able to take a knockout on Decidueye. Because he needs to do three steam ups, and he only has one Volcanion down to, to use a steam up. So he's going to rage, not even take the knockout. We'll attach DCE. Feather Arrow. Oh, that's not Feather Arrow. Feather Arrow onto the Volcanion. Uh, let's see. 
we'll get four cards. And we'll get five. And we don't have that many cards in deck. So we'll N, give him a new four cards. And we find a Dartrix. And now we can knock out this Tauros. Going down to three prize cards. And then we can just start Lysander stalling. Because he has a Volcanion with three retreat on the bench. And no float zone. Unless if he Lysanders our Vileplume, Vileplume, then we're still in a good spot. Looks like we'll be able to get it back down fairly easily. Because we only have one Revitalizer there, and we can probably find our second one with his Trainer's Mail. Uh, he can do Power Heater for a max of 100 right now. And then we'll just knock out his Volcanion next turn with a Razor Leaf and Feather Arrow. Or we can just get start going at it with the Lugia. Okay, so he's not even going to steam up with it. He's just going to use Scorched Earth. See, let's put it back in stacked. Seven energies in the discard. One there. All right, so the Lysander tactic isn't going to work out that well because he'll have two. He's going to Lysander us. Oh, he's taking out the Vile Boom. Okay, so now he's at odd prizes too. And we can fairly easily get it back out. Let's see, put in the Decidueye, we can knock out this Volcanion, then he'll knock out us with the big Volcanion. Trainer's Mill, it's not what I wanted to see. Uh, we'll, we'll just, we'll fail it. I'm gonna Ultra Ball, no. All Level Ball? Let's see what's left in the deck, Oddish. And, okay, so we prized our Revitalizer. So Oddish isn't really a big deal. If we can get the Oddish, though, scare him. Just pretend like we have it. And then, Ultra Ball. So if I Ultra Ball and I grab something, yeah, then I'm going to be drawing most of my deck. Oh, alright, let's see. So we have another Decidueye. Yeah. So we can Feather Arrow onto the Bench Volcanion. We'll do that there. Should we hollow that? Uh, how many energy does he have to play? Nine. So do I want to start at Lysander Stone Eyes? And just start trying to kill it now. No, we're gonna go to the safe route. Safe ish route. Take that. Shaman for five. Get our five cards. And then attach to the Lugia. Because then Lugia would be doing 80, 100 when he attaches energy. And then a Feather Arrow would do 40. It's not really enough. They can't steam up and knock us out. <clears throat> yeah, we'll just take the knockout here. He still needs the energy. He'll be able to knock us out if he gets the energy due to weakness. There's an Ultra Ball, which is not a Revitalizer, which is what we want to see. Ooh, so now we can actually Lysander whatever he puts on the bench and just start stalling with that. Stall that out. He's going to Max Elixir. Probably not going to hit it unless he plays like 15 energy. Okay. Disregarding what I'm saying. Scorched Earth, I don't know why you would play a Scorched Earth if you have it. He's gonna Sycamore, most likely finding himself an energy. 
Probably gonna take the knockout. <clears throat> Ooh, that's a mistake. How many float stones are in his discard pile? Two float stones, one switch, one escape rope, one Olympia, and one VS Seeker. It really sucks that we prize a revitalizer, because now we can't really do much. <clears throat> you know, I'm actually gonna leave this here. Because if we Lysander something, then, he, like, right now he can't attack. He has to get a bunch of stuff to attack if he wants to. We don't have any more DCEs. One twenty, what's in it? One sixty. One sixty. Doesn't matter. But it matters if we find deep hierarchy. Ah, this is such a hard decision. How many VS Seekers have you played? One? Yeah, I'm just gonna go with the arrow wall here. And hope that he doesn't have it. If he has Lysander, not Lysander, if he has, well, if he has Lysander and three energy, he wins. If he has Olympia or any sort of switching card left, he can't float stone. He needs to either switch or escape rope, but I'm assuming he already discarded those two and his Olympia. <laughs> or not. <coughs> What do we put in though? Nothing takes a hit. But this takes a better. This has less retreat. So if something's gonna die, then we might as well just lose the shaman. Because some either way, if he gets three steam ups, we die. But if we draw into our last energy. So that's two steam ups. Or, you know what, no, no, he then just attaches and retreats. Alright. Alright, so our opponent won that one. That was a bad game. Was that game one or was that game two? That was game two. Alright, so we'll jump in for one more. Let's get one more quick game in. Let's see, can we win with this stage Y Vioplume deck? Okay, so it looks like we're just playing a fun water box deck. Maybe Lapras, but like not the like Hammer's Lapras. Maybe there's fun Lapras. Again, I don't know if there's. I believe Guardians Rising is in the set, is like on the game now. So it could be something with a bunch of Aqua Patch. And we have to start B Drill again. That's nice. <clears throat> we can pin Missile next turn. What? Crunch? As long as this Pokemon is on your bench, active Pokemon will be free. <sighs> okay. Yes, I would like to draw a card. No, it's not Sigil. Okay, so level ball for Rallet, prize a Rallet, and prize a Decidueye. Do this, attach, Ultra Ball, get Shaman. 
looking for forest of giant plants to grow right into our decidui. That would be insane. Let's see. Off of three cards, can we hit that or trainer's mail? Yes. Last card. Alright, so we get Dartrix and into decidui. And then we'll just Professor Sycamore for a new hand of seven. Uh, hmm. Play down Rallet, Ultra Ball, Oddish, and. Okay, Oddish and Forest. We'll get another Shaman. Let's see how much. We have two Vile Plumes in the deck. So we can get a bunch of good stuff going here. Let's see. We'll revitalize her, get back this, and put a float stone on it. And then we'll shaman for five. Oddish, bloom, float stone, shaman for five. Ah, no! You just miss it. All right, so we'll put the feather arrow damage there. And we'll pass. So now our opponent gets a turn of items. If they hit their crushing hammer, crushing hammers, or if they Lysander, and uh, this is this is just upsetting. So close to Aqua's base. Okay, why? This person has a lot. Maybe they're playing a sh no. They're not playing Sharpedo because <laughs> Sharpedo is dark and they didn't have a dark type. Um I don't know what helps me I don't know what helps with like more retreat. Maybe they're just playing like straight disruption. They don't want anything retreating. There's a crushing hammer. Tails, good. If he doesn't get anything other than the bubble funnel bee, we can just win in two turn in the next turn. Because we get a sycamore, try to find Decidueye, and then double feather arrow. Alright, so that's our plan. Float stone. And we'll just do that. Alright. GG. And. Razor Leaf. Alright, guys, so that is the Decidueye Vile Plume deck. Let me know what you think. Tell me, tell me what I could do better. Tell me if the music was alright, if it's loud, if it's quiet. Um, just remember to like and subscribe. Let's see, we'll open this chest as a way of going out. Let's see, collection. Packs. Tile. Open. Let's see what we can get out of the chest. And we got a maintenance and five coins. Alright. And we'll open this. Just as another bonus, we'll open this locked evolutions pack. Grass, reverse grass, and a rare, and a secret rare. Okay, not bad. Alright guys, remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. This is Balloon24.